planning a Super Bowl get together and need some easy appetizers, keep watching. I've got four fantastic, sure to please your crowd for the game day festivities. Let's get cooking, y'all. Hey, hey, sweet friends. Welcome back to this week's special video. I have four super quick and easy but delicious appetizers that are sure to please you, all your friends or whoever is over at your house for the game day or Super Bowl festivities or even for just any kind of party that you might be throwing together and you need some delicious appetizers. So I will have everything linked in my description box below as far as the recipes, but let's get to cooking y'all. Come on, let's go. All right, so whatever chips you want, I like these tortillas. Then you're gonna need some shredded rotisserie chicken, some shredded cheddar cheese, a block of cream cheese, some mild, this is wing sauce they substituted. I've never had this before. So I hope it makes a good buffalo chicken dip because they did not give me my buffalo sauce. But anyways, I got some homemade ranch, some Texas Pete hot sauce. That's everything you're gonna need for that. For the meatballs, it's pretty simple. A bag of frozen meatballs, some grape jelly, and some chili sauce. That's all you'll need for that. You just put those on. Um, I only have like a half a bag, so I'll probably only use half and half of that. Pizza dip, I've got the baguette already cut up into little medallions there. We will need some pizza sauce, some cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, some sliced pepperoni, and of course, this is the garlic and herb butter for the little pizza bread slices. And then bacon wrapped water chestnuts. I'm only gonna use one can since it's um, just us and I'm not taking them anywhere. So you'll need a whole can of the whole water chestnuts. And then bacon of your choice. I've just got the thick cut real wood smoked hickory bacon. Um, since this is thick cut, we'll probably cut those in half and use that. So I'll probably only use about a half a pack for that since I'm only gonna do one can. But that is everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get to making these. All right, y'all, so to start off, we're gonna take some frozen meatballs. I had about a half a bag and I'm just gonna put them into a pot and we're gonna take about a half a bottle each of the grape jelly and chili sauce. You can use any brand or anything that you have on hand or if you wanna change it up, that's quite fine. This is just my recipe that I use and it's never failed me. They are delicious and I'm sure you've probably heard of them before, but pretty much you just dump everything into one pan. You give it a good stir, put that lid on it and come back and check them every once in a while just to make sure they're not sticking, but they'll be ready in a jip. Now we're gonna go ahead and get ready with our buffalo chicken dip right here. So in a bowl, I just have a block of cream cheese. I heated it up in the microwave for just a little bit and I took some rotisserie chicken, shredded it up here in my little food chopper just to get it into some bite-sized pieces. That way the dip mixes easier. So once you have all of your chicken in the bowl, this is when you start adding in all the yumminess and make sure you get all that chicken out too because you don't wanna waste it, trust me on this. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and start adding in everything else. All right, so I've gotten everything in here. I'm just gonna start by stirring that cream cheese and that chicken together just to make it a little bit more smoother before you start adding in all your um, buffalo sauce, hot sauce, and your ranch dressing. Um, comes together pretty quick. Like I said, I'll have all the measurements below because I just kind of go by taste on this one and you might want to too. Um, but you stir all of that together and then we're gonna add in the buffalo sauce first, however spicy you want it or how non-spicy you want it depends on your taste. So you just taste it as you go. I'm gonna dump in a little bit of hot sauce in there. I probably did about a cup of the buffalo, about a quarter cup of hot sauce and about a quarter cup of ranch and then a lots of cheese because you gotta have lots of cheese here. <laughs> But it's very simple to make. You just dump it all in a bowl and stir it all together. And then once you get it to how you like it, 
that's when you'll go ahead and put it on in into your baking dish and then you bake it at 375 to 400 degrees depending on your oven for anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes depending on the size of your baking dish too mine's just a little guy here but that's all we needed because it was just us four and it does last a couple days um, unless you have um, a son like I do who loves this stuff and it's gone in no time but I just top it with cheese bake it in the oven till it's done Next one is an all-time favorite. Get you a bacon dish, get you a block of cream cheese, and use the best tools God ever gave you, which were your hands. If it bothers you, I'm sorry, but it's my house, and I'm going to cook the way I want to. <laughs> but um, I just mashed it on into that bacon dish, smoothed it on out. It's just one block because this is a little dish. Then you want to top it with your favorite pizza sauce of choice. Give that a good swirl. Make it all even. You'll top it with some mozzarella cheese. And then, of course, that's when you'll put your pepperoni, your Parmesan, and your Italian seasoning on top right here. Once you get that all layered together, it'll go into the same oven as the buffalo chicken dip. So just depending on your time, anywhere from 350 to 375 until it's nice, golden brown, and bubbly. And you'll serve it up with some bread. You'll see me make it here in just a second. Um, I just put the Land of Lakes garlic and herb butter on them little slices of bread right there. And oh my goodness, y'all, this is probably one of my absolute favorites. Quick, simple, and easy. You cannot beat it. And last but not least, y'all, we got to make these bacon wrap water chestnuts. So I started out here with some bacon. I just cut those into little bitty strips because this is thick cut. You'll take each water chestnut, their whole water chestnuts, wrap them little babies in some bacon. And I'm going to tell you, if you like crunchy and salty and a little bit of sweet and everything else, you'll want to try this one. But I'll just go ahead and wrap all of these in the bacon. You'll see here in a little bit, I did end up using both cans and I had some plain, which that's fine. They'll still cook just as good. You'll still have that bacon flavor along with the um, dressing or the topping, glaze, whatever you want to call it. So you'll start out with about a cup of brown sugar and about a cup of mayonnaise and the other half of that jar, that chili sauce and some Worcestershire right here. You'll mix all of that together because you're just wanting to glaze these bacon wrapped water chestnuts. Once you do, you pour that, um, it's kind of like a barbecue sauce type thing. You'll just pour that on over these and then you'll put them in the oven as well. 350 to 375 until that bacon is cooked all the way through. And now I'm just showing you everything right here. There's the pizza dip, the buffalo dip right there. Y'all, these were so good. And of course, those meatballs. And you'll see the bacon wrapped water chestnuts here in just a minute. But all of these were so good and so delicious. Now, I did put these underneath a broiler here for a little bit, and y'all can see it got a little bit darker than what I would have liked, but they still tasted just as good, and it really did hit the spot, and I love every single one of these, and I hope you all give them a try. If you do, let me know in the comments, or let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite and which ones you want to try. Oh, but this was all so good, y'all. So good. All right, friends, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you need some quick and easy ideas, make sure to open up my description box below so you can get all these recipes that I made. And also check out these other two videos that I have right here for you or that should be coming up. So okay. I'll catch y'all in the next one. God bless. Bye.